Well, hello there. This is Shiva. This is episode five of Dyson Spear. I know that I've been uh, um, off count a little bit uh, with my videos. Sorry about that. It happens. Uh, okay, so what I've been doing, I've been playing a bit offline. I've been setting things up um, to start building a more permanent more than what I have. Uh, though, to be quite blunt, I kind of like the more that I have. I've already done a little bit better, but that's fine. Um, so anyway, as you can see, I've uh, done a whole bunch of new resources here because I've decided to move my mall over here. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just put this on, on the overhead. Of course, it has to be in, in nighttime mode, so it's probably a little bit tough for you to see. Um, oh, yeah, if I, I sound a little echoey, uh, I'm recording this at my girlfriend's house. Um, and she's still a little sick, poor thing, but uh, I have the door closed. And the reason for that is she has a bad tendency to come in here to talk to me uh, or basically to steal my snacks and my cookies. That's the reason why she comes in here a couple of times every evening. She always seems to help herself to one of my cookies. I don't know why. Women are like that. Anyway, um, did, this is actually two completely different blueprints uh, from two completely different authors. And the first one is Dutch Actuary. Uh, now, this is an old, old, old uh, blueprint that he originally done. I think it was about three years old. I've had to do some pretty extensive modifications uh, because there were some very strange things. First off, uh, you can actually, he didn't have icons to tell you where to feed uh, the resources. Uh, so I actually put the icons in and, and it's done by just clicking on something, going to a menu icon, and then just selecting what it is, right? So that's all you need to do. Uh, uh, he, for some reason, uh, maybe it just wasn't supported back then, I don't know. The other thing is, is that there were some things with this uh, blueprint I kind of thought was a little weird. One of the most important, as you can see, we have magnets, but magnets were all the way over here, and I just thought, that seems to be an awful lot of magnets there. Way more magnets than you actually needed. Uh, so I was kind of wondering about that. And then on top of it, his iron supply, uh, it wasn't enough iron. Uh, it needed more iron. So what I did was I changed uh, these three from magnets uh, to iron. And as you can see, I had to put another belt and then I sort of looped it and then put it through my main uh, iron supply there. Uh, the other thing is it was missing was stone or most importantly, um, the bricks themselves. This is actually a, a, a pretty bad uh, mis uh, mistake because you really need stone. Uh, to produce some of the material, especially early game. So I've, I found, so I've added all of this in here. And if you look at this, you know what? It kind of sort of worked out really well. I have a stone line coming in from my stone supply. I have uh, my smelters, and then I've got my uh, stone uh, walking, uh, working in there. So, you know, not too bad, not too bad at all. So now here's the second part. Now this blueprint is actually, I believe, a knee loss blueprint. Uh, he had done this for beginners, but the problem with that was it actually required a lot of red science and a lot of the higher end red sci science to actually build. Um, I, uh, you know, knee loss doesn't usually make those. I guess he just put it out and thought, oh, well, it's good enough. Well, the problem was is beginners couldn't use the, the template because it was it required uh, material that was uh, too advanced, to say the least. Uh, for instance, there's still a couple things, like this one right here. This is actually, if you look very carefully, it's actually uh, a green engine that is definitely red science. So, in other words, it's not going to work. The other weird thing about this is, for some strange reason, there's two of these in here. And I, for the life of me, cannot figure out why there are two. But, okay, well, well, we'll continue to do that. But it does work. Storage is at the bottom. I would have kind of have liked it to be at the top. And then, of course, the storage is here at the side. So it looks a little weird, but that's what happens when you use blueprints from two different offers. 
So I've had to do a little bit, quite a bit of modification in between. As you see, I left myself way too much room, but um, I, I've had to do some rather interesting gymnastics when it comes to the conveyor belts, but it works. <clears throat> That's all that matters. And because they're two different uh, offers, the supply lines are different uh, from here as opposed to from here. So, and heaven knows what else is in here because I have not looked. So we're going to go into the blueprint. Uh, this one was modified, uh, the Nilos blueprint was uh, modified by dropping pins. And he says that this is a lot better. Um, I have absolutely no idea where that one goes. He sort of did not really name these properly. This, I don't know where that goes. We'll figure it out. But this, but now we're ready to do part two. And that's this guy right here. And first off, we're going to have to reverse the it. We're going to have to reverse it. Let's, uh, let's zoom in here, here. And as you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same as it was before. I wish we could sort of move. Can we? I wish we can move our man. I'm going to redo this um, because it's hard to line up uh, the way it is. <laughs> Sometimes I wish the developers would make this game just a little bit easier to use. Now, in case you're wondering, I I uh, put my base here and did it this way because, to be honest, it's just uh, just easier and it looks as if there's enough room for it. So, oh, I've actually got four drones this time. Uh, there's apparently a bug in Dyson Sphere. It's been for years where you can sort of lose your drones. The, you, uh, for instance, during my uh, brief playthrough yesterday, I only had two drones for most of the time. The other two just completely and totally disappeared. And then they uh, they just wander off. And so I, I generally had two drones, which you know was very, very annoying. And I kind of wish that the developers would fix that because that was a problem I've been having for years with that. And I know a lot of other people have too as well. So let's just wait and see how these guys are doing. And then we'll see how the, the how the lines are doing, and if it supplies everything. I'm kind of tempted to uh, if it's like this, then I'm kind of tempted to do one more blueprint here, and then the other ones below that, so that uh, we can have all of our storage in, in one area. I'm not too sure if that's such a great idea, though. Oh, I've obviously run out of stuff, yeah. And of course, it's the stuff that I'm probably producing right now. Yeah, it's just conveyor. So I'm just going to go and grab some, hopefully find some iron. But I have to go all the way over here. Uh, as you can see, I've been spamming my foundations to try and flatten out uh, the road, uh, the terrain so I can build stuff without using it all up. Yeah, my main base is still here. I have no idea if, uh, if I'm going to keep this or not. Yeah, that should give me loads and loads of conveyor belts. Yeah, it gives me a hundred. I'll take 50, thank you. How many are you doing on that? Oh, you're slow. Well, we can always go over here, which is where I actually have most of them stored. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, reorganize here a little bit here. Yeah, so I think what, what I will do is I will just dump some stuff in here. Free up some space because I'm going to need some more space here. Oh. That should give me a little bit more and I'm just going to pay a quick visit to my... Uh, dump storage which is right here we're just going to get rid of some of this stuff here too as well you 
Yep, here we go. So let's have a uh, so now let's go back and just continue to build stuff, and then we'll see uh, what this looks like. Oh jeez, yeah, it gets stuck. It, uh, the pathfinding you know, on this game has a lot to be desired sometimes. I think I'm going to need some more of these guys too as well. So we'll produce another 20 of these. Yeah, we still got a couple to, to do here. Are we done? Are we actually doing anything? So you are not getting any gears. Why not? You should be getting gears. Gears are right there. I've also noticed a couple small mistakes in this too as well. So, you know, oh, great. Am I running out of power again? Really? I might be running out of power again. Oh. How many do I have? 18. I think it will do a little bit more. I'm getting a little tired of it. The problem is, is my power is over, way over there. And I'm not too sure if that's really a very good place to put it. Oh, there's some power here. But as you notice, I have a line here. Oh, let's give us, uh, let's give this guy a little bit more power. Okay, shift. Okay. Here we go. That should give me a little bit more power. That should be enough so I don't get the little, the dreaded one second of no power, five seconds of power thing that sometimes this game has. And I'm just kind of waiting for it to get a little bit brighter here. As I said before, this is a red science item. We don't have red science yet. We don't, so we haven't researched it. Everything else does seem to be working though, doesn't it? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a couple of these things. I've, I would like a little bit more of you. I would definitely like a little bit more of you too as well. Uh, smelters. Hmm. I'm not too sure about smelters. I would kind of like you one more of you. Yeah, I think I will, I will just, I've got, I'm going to have, I have so much resources. I mean, it, it's not as if it makes much difference here. Yeah, he's at 23, so he's, uh, so that's, uh, that's good. So, really good, isn't it? Oh, and I have some of these guys, so I can just grab some of you. Here we go. Easy enough. I'm just wondering why we have two red engines here when it doesn't look as if they're connected to anything. So I'm wondering if that is not a mistake in the blueprint. Uh, I don't see anything that's been connected. So I am not too, oh, well, there's one here. Okay, yeah, oh, I see it right here. Okay, all right, so that does make sense now. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's do more, more number three, shall we? So reverse. Put them together. You know what, why don't we put this in here and just do singles instead. That would be a better idea, Paul, wouldn't it? That would be an absolutely awesome better idea. How much do we have of this? We've got 18. Okay, that's fine. And with you guys, how much do we have of you? we got 33. I think that's actually pretty good. If I was doing this section of the template, I just 
would move all of my storage one down a little bit so I, I have the option to have a, a, a row here if I need, needed to add some stuff here. This is the problem with these kind of blueprints. They weren't made to be very expandable. And um, in other words, your maps are going to be very, very different from map to map. It does have a huge difference. Uh, it does make a big difference in how you uh, lay your malls out and everything else like that. So. Come on, get that power post so we can get production going. Oh, look at this. It's a little... It's a little janky, this one. What is that? I have no idea. It might not actually be built. Yeah, let's have a quick look Splitter at this. With four directions. It can split the passing cargo or balance the cargo on multiple conveyor belts. The splitting speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. Use the tab key to switch between different styles and click it to set priorities and filters. Interesting. I still don't know why it's there. Why is there a splitter there? He's not actually splitting anything, is he? Nope, doesn't appear so. Hmm. And I'm out of bloody thing again. Hang on a second. I'll just go grab some, some more of this. Lack of item. You know what? I better uh, do some more of this stuff here. Why you stop? Okay. You can be... You're gone. All right. I guess because I haven't been doing red science yet. This is red. Okay. Why was I doing that? I don't know. That's red. That's red. As, you know, what's interesting is this can be actually a little bit of uh, annoying. Oh, we'll just activate you because you're a blue science anyway. You're a blue science. Yeah, we're just going to get all of the blue science done first before we worry about the red, I think. And what about my upgrades? Oh, yeah, we got to do these guys. Makes it easy, doesn't it? We'll get you all done. Okay, so we'll just do one after the other. We'll just keep an eye on this. Sometimes I may not have the resources, but as you can see, I'm building my resources right now. I'm just wondering why. I think I'm uh, I'm going to have to take a look at the next blueprint. But so far, we got three of the, I guess, six or seven blueprints that need to be done. Foundation, a terrain leveling tool, yet we cannot use it to change the planetary land. You know how many times I've heard that bloody thing tell me about foundations? I've already know. Look, I've got tons and tons of foundations all over the place. I'll give myself some juice. I think I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a, a small foundation so that I can extend this a little bit more, I think. I went and did a whole bunch of uh, piles. Uh, really upgraded the soil pile on this one. See, if you go like this, see what it tells you? It says you will get 430 free soil pile. And you need those to fill in things like uh, water and everything. So... Like this. Here we go. Easy. Oh, there's a big center line there. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, what one was the next one here? It was this guy, wasn't it? And this will, in fact, reverse. So this does fit. I'm going to just have a quick look at this. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, I think that's what I'll do, as I'll just do two. I think uh, what I'll do is I'll move the other ones going the opposite direction. 
uh, I'll move them down. But in the meanwhile, no, that's not going to fit, but that will. So let's have a quick look at this while we're doing this. Okay, so what are you missing here? You are missing. Just mark run. What are you missing here? According to this, you're not missing anything. And here's another one. Okay. So we got that. We've got the splitters. He's missing iron. Yeah, I knew it. You need a lot of iron and this, this blueprint just was not doing it. And he's over there. Okay, so we have to do a little bit of fixing here. So how are we going to do this? Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to just sort of sneak some extra iron in here. Somehow. Yeah. I knew as soon as I saw it that there was nowhere near enough iron uh, with this and I've added three more but it's just not uh, doing it. So let's have a quick look at my line up. Oh, there's a line all the way over here. So this is really a, a case of how to fix your And I've got like, I think I got five uh, miners going on here. Can I fit a couple more in here at least? Yeah, I think that's what I will do. I will, in fact, do that right now. Ah! How about if I remove that and that and see if I can sneak that extra one in there because I really kind of need to him. Well, he's working. Yeah, I think might be able to do it. See if this, uh, I don't think this is going to be enough. I figured that you need at least 12 and to be honest uh, this previous blueprint just isn't giving me that kind of production. Well I know everybody's gonna hate that but that's just the way that's the best place the only place I can put it. Oh hang on maybe I can fit him in. Can I fit him in that? Yeah okay there you go. Compromise. We'll get rid of you. We'll put you there. You'll be able to give you enough uh, power now. It's not perfectly in line or anything else, but as I said, I'm using somebody else's blueprints and... Why is my research speed too low? Okay, well, whatever. I have a problem with my research. Okay. Yeah, if it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I may have a cold. So, just so that you all know that. Uh, as I said, my girlfriend's been sick. And, yeah, there's a good chance she's given it to me. We'll just fix this. We'll fix the research. Uh, and then we'll probably, in the next episode, do the next four in, in this build. But... At the, oh, I see. I need glass on this one. Okay. You can just see it right here. I would assume. This is, as I said, this is based off of the uh, Nilos uh, blueprints. And I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that this is not one of Nilos's better ones. But that's just me. 
Well, at least I still got four drones working. That's kind of nice. Come on, just build the damn thing. And I am definitely short. Oh, and I need steel again. See, a good thing I noticed that. So I need steel and I need glass to finish uh, to do the rest of this. Okay. You know what? It would have been better if I put this down like I was originally going to. So anyway, what do I do? Oh, right, let's fix my blue science since it apparently has decided to stop working. And I have no idea why because it was working perfectly fine and I haven't touched it. But, uh, you know, we'll fix it. And then we'll call it an end to this particular episode. We're almost at, at the end anyway. But let's, uh, let's have a quick look at where my problem is. Well, it seems to be... Okay, it is working. Hmm. Is it working? It is, it's going down. As soon as I clicked on it, it seemed to want to work. Well, thank you very much, game, for wasting my time. Now... Don't be at all surprised. I'm going to be looking for blueprints, uh, more blueprints, and see if I can find something that works a little bit better here. But uh, it's not a bad blueprint, but it's pretty obvious that it's just not giving me, is that this one right here is just not giving me the resources that I need. So it may be a better idea if I... Uh, Replace all of that, all of my spare production, and just build my own blueprint factory. Uh, just build my own smelter factory, because uh, it's pretty obvious that there's some problems here. I don't have any more room here, by the way. I've got loads of iron over here. But really, the one that's available the most is probably over here. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. This map is a little awkward. Look at where I only have uh, iron there. Okay. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's 12 here. Okay, it's a long trip, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. Um, I'm going to build a massive iron smelting section and I'll probably do uh, some steel at the bottom because I do have a, some spare steel going on. I'll just run a, uh, a line up there and then we'll continue on with this. But so far, it's okay. Uh, these two blueprints, they were the ones that I could find rather easily. Uh, some of the other ones are just way too advanced. Uh, but as you can tell, we're starting to run into some problems with um, how they were put together. So, you know, this is what happens when you use blueprints. You don't really learn how to build everything yourself. And, sometimes, and a lot of the blueprints that I have downloaded, I've lost all of my blueprints and stuff. And I had a hard drive failure a while ago, and, and that meant all of my Dyson Sphere program stuff, my own blueprints were all gone. So uh, I'm just relying on somebody else's right now. And, uh, you know, I did have some really, really good uh, blueprints uh, as well. And uh, to be honest, I kind of like my blueprints a little bit better. But, well, we'll see. Anyway, I will figure it out. Yeah, in the meanwhile, um, this is Shiva. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope you learned something from it. Hope you stick around for the next one. So I'm just going to sign off for the time being. So we'll see you later.